As the 2023 elections inches closer with every passing day, many political parties are jostling to make arrangements that would ensure they clinch power at different levels of government. The new Nigeria People's Party is one of those. While dis uh, addressing the defections into the party, Dr. Boniface Anir Bonham, pioneer national chairman and founder of the party said, that the development is a manifestation of divine intervention towards giving Nigeria the right leadership. And he also added that new entrants were on a mission to rescue Nigeria from the poor leadership it has suffered over the years. The party also announced the shifts in dates for the senatorial and governorship primaries of the party, while welcoming former candidate, governor and senator Ibrahim Shekarao to the party. Well, joining us to discuss these uh, are um, uh, is, I beg your pardon, Mr. Agbo Major. He is the National Publicity Secretary, uh, uh, New Nigeria People's Party, NNPP. Thank you very much, Mr. Agbo, for joining us. Thank you. Good evening, uh, Nigerians. Thank you. Uh, let's start by looking at the NNPP. The NNPP has been in the news more, more lately because of um, several people who have moved into your party. We're talking about um, Kwankwaso, we're talking about Shakarao, and, and then, of course, there are many more people that the party is saying that they're receiving. Um, but, but then, let's start by looking at what the NNPP think it has that can upstage all the other parties. And when I say the other parties, I'm talking about the two major political parties, uh, especially as the NNPP has identified itself as a third force. Well, that's a, a very good question. Uh, let me start this way by saying that uh, the New Nigeria Plus Party, as we all know, has been the party for the youths, the party for the women, the most uh, ordinary people-friendly party all this while. So uh, that uh, we're attracting big wigs, you know, the likes of Kwankwaso, Senator Kwankwaso, uh, the likes of uh, Senator Shekarao and the rest coming in. It's not uh, a surprise to us because... Uh, all along, over the past 21 years, we've uh, stayed, you know, on the side of the ordinary people. We've stayed on the side of the women. We've stayed as a party on the side of the youth. So, uh, with uh, a full, you know, complements of the youths and women, where PVCs actually are, we are sure that uh, we have made serious progress, very tremendous progress, and we are sure that. Uh, this election that is coming, we are the party to beat. So it's not uh, a surprise to us. We've always expected this. And like you rightly have pointed out, we expect more Nigerians to join in the next few days. You know, at the end of the day, we will be the party to beat. Uh, talk to us about these progresses that you may, uh, that you say that you have made over time. Um, because one of the first things that people will ask about the NMPP is, where are your roots? Do you have... Um, your party represented in all the local governments across the Federation. That's number one. Secondly, what is your party structure in those local government areas? I ask this again because we are looking not at the smallness or the bigness of your party. We're looking at the capability and the structure that your party has. Does it have any of that? And how widespread is it? How strong is it? For the average person who you're trying to get his or her votes, what exactly or how exactly strong are you in those areas? Well, if there's any of the political parties in this country that is uh, deeply rooted in uh, the New Nigerian Plus Party, we've, uh, before now, even before the entry of, uh, of these big weeks you are talking about as a party, we've ensured that uh, We've maintained, uh, you know, our structures across, even up to the world level, you know. What we have in our constitution uh, is replicated through the zones, it's replicated through the states, and it's also replicated through the local governments and the world. So if, for instance, at uh, the national level, the NWC level, uh, we have about 30 something offices. If you go to the state, if you go to the zones, that's what you would find, the six geopolitical zones. If you go to the 36 states of the Federation and Abuja, you find something, you go to any of the 774 local government councils in this country, you find the same thing. You go to any of the wards, you find it. So we pride ourselves as a party, as one of the parties. In fact, I can tell you that even our roots are deeper than that of the PDP, or our roots are deeper than that of the APC, because like I said during my opening remarks, you know, we've uh, uh, 
uh, remained on the side of the people and the power is with the people and the people are at the grassroots level. So from the beginning, in the past 21 years, what we tried to do was to ensure that uh, our structures are kept alive at those lower levels. So what you, the, the entry of uh, the likes of uh, distinguished Senator Pankerso, distinguished Senator Shakarawa and the rest, is only now helping to strengthen it, strengthening it in the sense that uh, their own structures, which they have built and kept over time, is, it is now coming into a sort of marriage with that of the NMDP. So we are unstoppable. You know, we're on ground, I can assure you that. And uh, I can also tell you as uh, a matter of emphasis that uh, we are more and more and more deeply rooted than the PDP and the APC that have controlled power since the return of democracy in 1999. There's no doubt about that. I'm curious, many people have referred to your party and some other parties, um, including those that have been recently deregistered by the um, Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. Um, many say that some of these parties, yes, they would say they have, um, you know, structures in every local government area of the state, but then when it comes to walking the talk, um, many say that they only come alive um, when it's close to election uh, because of the monies that they receive. What would you say to that? Again, there, there has been rumor. Oh, just hold on, I'm, I'm going to land. Um, there's also been, you know, talk about the NNPP having to form a merger with another party, the Labour Party. How true is this? Well, uh, from the first question, the first poser you raised, uh, if uh, that were applicable to us, we would have gone down like the seven, 74 political parties went down you know, after the 2019 election. The position of our laws in this country is political parties are established, registered by INEC, and the sole objective is to field candidates for elections. And the same law goes further to say that at the end of every electoral cycle, if a party is unable to win seats, the party has to go down. That's why you saw that uh, in uh, 2020, uh, early 2020, I think February, Mr. Major, are you still there? I think that we have lost uh, um, that connection with uh, Mr. Agbo Major, uh, but we will quickly um, try to get that connection back. Um, Mr. Mr. Major, can you hear me? Yes, I'm hearing you. Perfect, we lost you for a second. Yes, I will, I will revert. What I was trying to say that uh, if we were one of those parties you know, would have gone down like the 74 that went down because the law, the position of the law is at the end of every electoral cycle, if a political party is unable to win at least one seat in the state uh, legislative level, the party would be re registered. That's why you saw 74 parties go down in one day. If we were one of those without structures, if we were one of those that failed to win at least one seat, would have also gone down. So the fact that- But could it also have been that, um, <laughs> um, Senator Kwan Kwasu helped you to dodge that bullet by moving to no, your no, 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 Distinguished Senator Kwan Kwasu, we do respect to him. In 2019, as of then, Kwan Kwasu was not a member of the party yet. So, if we were operating like the other parties, we would have also gone down. So the fact that we didn't have an issue, we knew what we were set out to do as a political party, and we stood by our words, remained on the side of the people, and we were able to win seats. If I start to give, if I begin to give you statistics of what we did in Bauti, you'll be very surprised. You know, the rest is history. Of course, you know the way elections are conducted in this country. But I can tell you that uh, we got a, virtually everything in Bauti, including the senatorial seats, which was uh, uh, taken away. The rest is now history. So. We are not one of those that uh, are just there, you know, coming alive only during elections, like you just rightly said. If we were, we would have gone down. That's the first leg of the question. The second leg is that uh, we're taking a back this morning, you know, when we started reading that uh, NMPP is one of the seven political parties that came together to adopt uh, uh, Labour Party as their major platform. That's not correct. I can't remember at any point in time if any of our officers from the national chairman, even the founder of the party, Dr. Boniface and Ebunam, the leader of the party, distinguished Senator Conquasso, I can't remember at any point they had called us together to say, look, this is the, this is the direction, this is where we're going to. So when we saw it this morning, as I talk to you now, 
We are still in the office. The national chairman is here. I'm here. Uh, the national secretary is here. Almost all of us are here. We're putting us together. We have done pre at the preliminary level. We've tried to get Nigerians to understand that we were never part of that and we can't be part of that. But we are going to come out with a full press statement between now and tomorrow morning, you know, uh, disassociating ourselves from uh, that uh, arrangement because we never at any point met with them. And uh, you don't just wake up and say, I have met with them and this is what we agreed when we were never there at all. So to summarize on that, I can tell you that we were never part of that. We won't be part of that. We can never be part of that. Let's talk, about, let's talk about your internal party democracy. Now, we know that um, you announced a few days ago, uh, announced a shift in the dates for your senatorial and governorship primaries uh, for the party. Mm. What could have led to that move? And, of course, we also know that you recently, like I mentioned earlier on, um, welcomed the former Kanu State um, governor, Senator Ibrahim Shekarao, to the party. Um, how does the internal democracy of your party work? Again, um, is it just the former senator that is going to be um, your party flag bearer, or are there others who are vying for that position? Again, as to the other um, offices that are being run for, whether it be senatorial or governorship, how do we see it play out within the party? Because we've seen uh, the APC and the PDP go back and forth on the issue of a consensus candidate, whether it be indirect or direct primaries, and there's been some form of deadlock, and it's still leaving a lot of people guessing. Uh, but when it comes to the NNPC, what are the steps that you're taking to make sure that your uh, move to get all of these um, positions filled is free, fair, and credible? When you talk about internal party democracy, uh, you check through the records, even if you have the time to go through you know, uh, reports that have been put together by the election monitoring body, that is the INEC, you would have said that uh, New Nigeria Post Party is one of those parties that is non-traditionally for very effective. One of the things we have going for us as a party, which has united us for this whole 21 years of our existence as a political party, is our strict adherence to the principles of internal democracy. For us as a party, the power is with the people. Once they take their decision, nobody changes it. The power resides with people, and that has guided us, and uh, it has kept us united as a family. And that's why 21 years of existence, you haven't heard of anybody's mandate being stolen within the party, particularly if it relates to, you know, uh, processes of selecting candidates for general elections and all of that. You hardly hear of somebody being shortchanged. You hardly hear somebody won election, the mandate is taken away, and all of that, and all of that. What so, will be the mode of your, in, uh, what will be the mode for your primaries? What we are doing is, uh, well, uh, depends on the situation on ground. In some places, we would be having direct primaries. In some other places, we'll be having indirect primaries. In places where we don't have more than one candidate vying for a position, of course, uh, we don't need to go through the rigors of uh, getting people to you know, get involved in indirect primaries and all of that. So in some places where we have more than one candidate running for a position, of course, uh, who would allow people to be able to, you know, uh, exercise their franchise and all of that. So we are doing a combination of two to ensure that uh, people leave the process happy. That is what I can say about the mode of our primaries. And on the issue of internal democracy, like I was trying to say, that's one great thing we have going for us. And that's why the party has remained united for the past 21 years that it has, it has existed as a political party. You hardly hear of anybody's mandate stolen. You hardly hear of anybody being shortchanged and all of that. So we are known for that. We received a lot of accolades, a lot of praises for being one of the parties that has maintained strict adherence to the principles of internal democracy. One of the things that kills the political party very fast is uh, lack of internal democracy. And we have been you know, guided by that, sure that uh, we don't fall foul of that. Then on the issue of uh, us having uh, just one presidential candidate, yes, as at the time, the sale of forms for the presidential slot closed. Only one candidate came forward to buy the form, and that's uh, His Excellency Distinguished uh, Senator Rabiu Musa Kompaso. And as he stands now, he is the sole candidate. For the party. Okay, great.
Um, what's the guarantee that the average person will not be short changed? You have said it. It's easy when it's easy talk when you don't have big wigs and big money bags in the party, where everybody seems to be on the same level and there seems to be some mutual understanding. But can you say same for now, where you have more people with more money, and then, or maybe a few people with more money and more people with less money who may not necessarily be on the same level with the new money bags that you have within the party. Can you still boast of the fact that there will be a level playing ground for all? May not be for the presidential because you have just one presidential candidate, but on the other, uh, for the other tickets, uh, whether it be governorship or senatorial houses of assemblies, will the story change or will you stick to this story down the line? No, 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 no. Like I told, like I told you, one of the things we don't play with as a party is to ensure that the will of the people prevails always. We have been guided by that. This party, mind you, has existed for 21 years. You, had, you haven't heard of rancor. You haven't heard of disagreements. But did you, you have the had kind of people that you have in the party today, then? No, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. You see, when you're taking people, you also adjust your talk as of us. You adjust your ability to, you know, bring them in and the ability to also contain them. We're so, not just taking these people. I'm sorry, Mr. Mignon, you, you're telling me you know, that having money bags, I'm sorry, I'm, my choice of words, um, the big mm. wigs in your party will not make certain people or certain... Um, party members be at the whims and caprices of these people, you're telling us that you, no, 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 as the NNPP, no. the things, can guarantee you, us no. as Nigerians that there will not be people who will be extensively influential on your party and the decisions that are being no, made no. because of the level no, no, that no. they actually uh, have or hold. Not at all. Not at all. You see, the party has its code of conduct that guides its operations and activities. So does every political and, uh, party. It is, it, is, it is a union of like minds. So when you are coming in, first, we need to extract a commitment from you that you will be guided by the code of conduct that guides our operations as a party. You will also be guided by what we believe in. And what we believe in is unity of purpose and understanding as one family. So we're not just bringing these people in. We are bringing them in after a series of discussions, after an extraction of commitments that they would adhere strictly to what has kept the party united for the past 21 years. Okay. So with that level of commitment, we are very, very sure that uh, they won't come in to do anything that is to the contrary. We believe that uh, they are in and they are in for good and they will be guided by what has kept us united for the past 21 years. We don't have any problems about that. We have also adjusted our shock numbers to be able to take in, because you know you can't be completely sure that you would get 100% what you want. Okay. There will be dissidents. There will be one or two people who would want to do something funny. But our shock numbers are sharp enough to be able to take care of all of those challenges. I okay. can assure you that. So for okay. Nigerians, what I can tell them is uh, they won't see anything from us that would look like uh, People being shortchanged, or that would look like people are necessarily taking advantage of okay. the party because of the process and all of that. So well, all that to remains know. to be seen. Agwa Major is the National Publicity Secretary of the New Nigeria People's Party, NNPP. Thank you so much for speaking with us. We wish you all the best. Thank you so much. All right. Well, that's all for tonight on Plus Politics. But before we go, how tired are you as a Nigerian? I'm wondering. Are we tired enough to the point where we can make our leaders responsible and accountable to us? I need you to chew on that tonight. I'm Mariana Kun. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great weekend.